hey, 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 howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how's it going? Mm -hmm. How's it going? Hmm? Good evening, everyone. How are you guys? How are you today? I'm fine, fine, thank you. Thank you for Good answering. Teacher. Hello, <laughs> how's it going? I am fine. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. How are you? I hope everyone is fine after a very um, helpful weekend. <clears throat> Let's see. It looks like um, <laughs> it looks like my computer is acting out. Hello, I can see some of you. I don't see all my students yet <clears throat> connected. I just see some of you. Let me see. All right, we're gonna wait a little bit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, come on in, come on in to a new class. I'm so excited to see you after a new weekend. How was your weekend, huh? How was your weekend? You had a nice weekend or no? Ooh, very good looking students. <gasps> wow, come on in, what a pleasure. Good looking students, how's it going tonight, huh? Are we ready? Are we ready to practice? Are you ready to practice your English with me or no? Yes, teacher. Of course, right? Of course. <laughs> of course. I've been waiting for this moment huh? to practice with you. Let's get started, people. Let's get started. Today, we're going to go and study the um, countables and non-countable noun. Uh, first of all, first of all, what is a noun? Do you know? What is a noun? Do you know what is a noun? Hello. Do you know what a noun is? Or you don't know what is a noun? Noun is substantive, no? Okay, that's the meaning. Okay, that's the meaning. But in English, tell me in English, what is a noun? No contain. I'm sorry? Content, 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 no content. Countable and non countable. Okay, yes, we have countables and non countables. But first, what's a noun? Do you know what is a noun or no? Can you give an example of a noun? A noun, a noun, what is a noun? N O U N, N O U N. What is a noun, Salvador, Claudia, Edith, Juan Carlos? What is it? Teacher, maybe it's the, the word that identifies a person, and a thing, or an animal. I don't know if that's correct. That is correct. A noun is a person, a thing an animal, a place, an idea, etc. cetera. Mm -hmm. Examples of nouns. Give one example yeah. of a noun. Proper nouns like uh, Jose, 
ASO, and so on and so on. And on proper names uh, and nouns like uh, water, like money. And I don't that know. That is correct. Uh, a noun can be a computer, water, a class, a teacher, a student, a puppy, a cat, a monkey. Yeah? Everyone give a noun. Give one example of a noun. Ingrid, give me one noun. A book. A book. Thank you. Iris, give me one noun. Thank a you. Pencil. A what? A pencil. A pencil. A pencil. Francisco, a pencil. give me one noun. A uh, computer. A computer. Yes. Uh, Dina, give me one noun. House. A house. A house. Yes. Noemi, give me one noun. Uh, telephone. A telephone. Okay. Uh, Sandra, give us a noun. A table. A table. Okay. Miss Amaya, give us one noun. A book. Another book? Okay. Mm, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. TV. A TV. A TV. I like that. Okay. Salvador, give us one noun. A key. I'm sorry? Key. A key. Yeah, yeah a key is one, right? Okay, 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 okay. Um, Claudia, give us one noun. A window. A window, okay. Edith, give us one noun. A beer. A what? A beer. Beer. A bird? Beer. Beer. A bird. A bear. A bird. Juan Carlos, no, Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio, is it Juan Antonio? No, okay. Todos me han dicho, you all said nouns and you all told me um, countable nouns, which is good, which is good. Now that you know what is a noun, you have to understand that we have two types of nouns, countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Let's go ahead and watch a video about it. in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. You can see the video, correct? Can you see the video? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. We'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So, for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. 
Now let me point out what non count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So, let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily, and therefore we consider this non count nouns. So, if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer. All of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that, and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me... Okay, before we do that... Okay. Okay, before we do that, let's take a quick look to the grammar chart. As you see, we have the count nouns that we can count. You can use many, fewer, more, or enough with these type of count nouns versus non-count nouns. We would use much, less, more, and again, enough. Okay? So let's keep on watching the rest For example. Of there are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution? in your city. And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non-count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non-count? Okay. Let's see. Is there a lot of traffic in your city? Traffic is the is the noun. Question guys, is it countable or non-countable? Countable. Traffic. 
Uncountable. 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 Yes, uncountable. traffic is uncountable. You cannot uncountable. count the traffic. You cannot say one traffic, two traffic. No, that's not possible. Okay, what about police officers? Is it countable or uncountable? Countable. 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 You can count one police officer. Ten police officers. Me ayudan con el audio, por favor. Okay, thank you. Um, next, are there many buses in your city? Buses, is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Countable. It's countable. You can count the buses, yes. You can say one bus, three buses, five buses. Yes, you can count buses. What about pollution? Repeat, pollution. Pollution. Is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 It's uncountable. Okay, so for example, for example, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Traffic is uncountable. So we're going to use is. There is or there isn't. Okay. What about in your city? Where do you live? Are there, is there a lot of traffic where you live? Yes, there is, teacher. Yes, there is. What? There is. There is a lot of traffic. There is a lot of traffic. There is some traffic. There is a little traffic. Yeah. Prepare your answers. Prepare your answers for this question, for these questions, for the four questions. Prepare your answers and we're going to have a little talk, okay? I'm gonna give you five minutes for you to prepare your answers, okay? And I want you to include uh, facts, like using the quantifiers, a lot, a little, right, etc. So I'm gonna give you five minutes for you to prepare your answers. If possible, write your answers on your notebook so we can have the conversation. You can provide your answers. You understand? Yes. Yes. Five minutes. Now, prepare. Prepare your answers. If you have a question, let me know. Five minutes. Teacher. Yes. I am sorry. Um, what is in Spanish uh, pot, pot, pollution? Pollution. Yes. Contamination. Ah, okay. Thanks, teacher. Sure. Go ahead. No escucho el teacher, será que se cayó de nuevo. No, estaba esperando las, la respuesta que le den. Ah, ok, sorry. You have to prepare your answers. Prepare your answers for these questions. You have three minutes.
All right. Let's go ahead and have a talk about the first question. The first question is, is there a lot of traffic in your city? First, I want you to tell me what city do you live in? And then I want you to tell us if there is much traffic, if there is a little traffic, if there's no traffic and so on, okay? So let's start. Do we have a volunteer? Raise your hand, raise your virtual hand now. Let's go, Mr. Bernal. Where do you live? I live in Cinemeca. Okay. Tell us. In, in my city, there is a little traffic. Ah, oh, really? Okay. So in Cinemeca, there is much parking, correct? Mm, parking yes, is not a problem over there. Thank you, Salvador. Let's go, Mr. Jose. I live in San Salvador, teacher, mm. and here there, there is a lot of traffic. <laughs> what about parking? There is not. You have to park on the street in, in on, I don't know how to say, uh, forbidden uh, zones. Yeah, zones forbidden prohibited. areas, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> on the street? Outside on the street. Thank you, Jose. Let's go with Judy. What about your city? Uh, I live in Santa Tecla. Okay. And yes, there is a lot of traffic on Jerusalem Street. Oh. It's incredible. <laughs> it's every crazy. single day is the same, huh? There is so much. Yes. There is so much traffic. Mm -mm. Thank you, Judith. What about you, Naomi? I live in Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. In my city, the traffic is regular. It's regular. So you can say there is a little traffic. There is some. There is some traffic in Santa Ana, right? Some traffic. Some yes. traffic in Santa Ana. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. You can say too much. Yes. Michelle, go ahead, Ms. Amaya. Well, wait, tengo mucho. Guys, ayúdenme con sus televisiones, por favor. Después ven a la novela, por favor. Bye, Miss Michelle, go ahead. Okay. I live in San Salvador and there is a lot of traffic all the time. <laughs> That's the everyday thing in San Salvador. Yes. yes, it's crazy. What about parking, Michelle? Is there is there much parking in your city? Uh, yes. I think so. A little, maybe, huh? There is some parking or a little parking. All right. What about Alejandra? Tell us, Alejandra. I live in Lourdes, Colón. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It, there is a lot of traffic. It's terrible every day. <laughs> every I'm day is a headache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss. I'm sorry. No more hands. Alejandra. Okay, Alejandra Noches. Crazy traffic. Tell me about it. Okay, no more. Let's go with the next question. What is the next question? The next question says, um, are there enough police officers in your city? Remember, this is countable. Are there, well, enough, suficientes, right? Are there enough police officers in your city? Raise your hand and tell us about it. What do you think? Well, in my city, guys, I live in San Salvador. Being exactly, I live in Mexicanos City. So I can say that um, there, are, there are many police officers, especially now that, you know, there is a regulation. 
um, in their system. So there are many, there are many police officers around here. What about in your city? Right now in my city, it, there are a lot of police officers because- uh, There are a lot of? Police officer. Police officers because correct. Po po police officers. You give the plural, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because two weeks ago there was some murder here, and I I think is is it for that reason there is a lot of police officers. There are there are a lot of police officers. Yes, there are. Yes. So you said that there was a murder over there. So there. That's why there are so many police officers, right? Well, right. it's a little safe, let's say. Let's go with Iris. What do you have, Iris? Um, I live in San Salvador, specific San Marcos. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, uh, many uh, stations because in my uh, neighborhood, I want a station. Oh, you, you're talking about the police stations. Yeah. There are many police stations in San Marcos? Yeah, it's um, San Marcos is Carretera Los Planes de Renderos. It's Planes de Renderos Highway. Okay, I understand. Okay, thank you, Iris. Let's go with Judith. What you got? Hi. There you go. Yeah. There are a few uh, police officers here. P police officers? Uh -huh. Police officers. Really? Where do you live, Judith? I think that the, the area is so uh, clean <laughs> mm. about the thief. Mm -hmm. And where do you live again? In Santa Tecla. Merliot. All right, Merliot. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's much better now. Okay, Michelle, go ahead. Let it go. I think so. There are there are a lot of police officers on the street than the last year. Oh yeah, you make a lot of sense. Thank you. All right, thank you for your participation. If you are not speaking you can use the chat okay if you are shy you don't want to talk to me you can chat okay let's go oscar uh, i live in lopango mm -hmm. uh, there are many most office uh, police office wait 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 uh, police officers Police is, is, is countable or uncountable? Uh, countable. So you say many. There are so many. many there are so many police officers in, in, in Ilopango, all, huh? In all uh, país, como se dice? I'm sorry? Uh, in todo el país ahorita. Uh, we don't understand Spanish. We only speak in English. Uh, yeah, the, there are many police officers in, in whole the whole town. Okay, I got it. They, there are many police officers in your police town. Officers. Yes, in thank you, town. Oscar. Let's go to the next question. It says, are there many buses in your city? Are there many buses? Well, in Mexicanos, woo -hoo, there are so many. There are too many, demasiados. There are too many buses, you know? The Route 2, the Route 2A, 2B, 2C, uh, 32, Route number 6. There are so many buses. It's crazy. It's crazy in my city. What about in your city? Are there many buses? Are there many buses in your city, guys? Hi. 
Huh? Hi, I live in Santa Ana. Uh -huh. There are many bus in my in my city. There are many bus or there are many buses? Buses. Yes, there are many buses, huh? City. We have the buses Much. that are in Santa Ana and, and, and also the buses that travel from Santa Ana to other departments, right? There are Much. many buses, many, many. There are buses. many buses in my city. Correct. Uh, much. Many, six. many, four. many. <laughs> many. <laughs> yes, much is for non countables Many okay. is for countables Okay, somebody else, somebody else. What about in your city? Are there many buses? Can I say there are a little? Uh, no, because because buses is countable, right? Um, you can say there are some. You can say there are a few, right? Because okay. it's countable. Okay, in my city, uh, well, I live uh, far of the city in uh, in a little uh, small town. Where? And in in a town of Santa Tecla. Oh, but I think there are some buses because uh, it's small the town and because the the street is bad. Mm, the street is not so good, huh? It has many holes. Thank you for yeah. the information, Michelle. Go ahead. You're very participative tonight. <laughs> I love English, so that's why. <laughs> Tell me. Talk well, to me. Okay, on the week, I live in San Salvador. Really? But yes, near to Montserrat. Mm -hmm. But here, there is not a lot of buses. There are no a lot of buses. No. no. You, you, but, say, you say there are not so many. Say there are not so okay. many buses. There are not so many buses. But on the weekend, I go to Soyapango. Okay. So, because I visit my grandma. And okay. there is a lot of buses. There are. There are. There are a lot of buses and microbuses. And mini buses, yeah. And buses mini buses. And mini buses. Oh my God, it's crazy. And it's, yeah, I mean, that's really crazy because it's just like. Uh, traffic here, traffic, traffic there, <laughs> traffic over there. So yes. it's crazy. I'm sorry for you. Yeah, on weekend, <laughs> on weekends, it gets crazy, right? On weekends, Saturdays, Saturdays is crazy. All the way, San, uh, San, Soya Pango, Ilopango, San Salvador. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the participation. Let's talk about pollution. Pollution. Is there too much pollution in your city? Huh? Is there too much pollution in your city? Say your answer or chat your answer. Come on, Jose, go ahead. I live in San Salvador, teacher. And here, there's a lot of pollution. A lot, lot, lot. Yeah. Yeah, I know. People are careless sometimes, you know, Salvadorians. We are sometimes a little careless. We throw the garbage away. You know, we have to actually become different, you know, when it comes about pollution, trash and everything. So let's talk about all the topics. Let's, let's talk about all the topics. What about, what about uh, safety? Safety. How much safety is there in your city? Nowadays, here in San Salvador, it feels more safety than before, teacher. Because, uh, for example, the last year, you cannot walk with your cell phone in your hand. But nowadays, I can do it and I feel kind of safety because there's a lot of police officers and I don't know how to say uh, military teacher, soldiers. military personnel. Yeah, military uh, soldiers. soldiers. Uh -huh. There's a lot of soldiers everywhere. 
that's nice, huh? That's nice. You yes. feel you feel more secure. Um, yes. It's 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 safer. It's safer than the last yes, year. Yes, it is, teacher. Awesome, Eduardo. Go ahead, Eduardo. Let it go. I did. I did. Bueno, entonces, buenas noches. Okay, no problem, sir. No problem. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's go with expressions. Expressions of quantity. Let me share my screen. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Let me just maximize this other screen for me because I want to see your faces. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to keep talking about expressions of quantity. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express problems that exist in a city. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count now. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to... Check. There are too many cars. Too many cars. Versus there is too much traffic. Yeah. Right? Countable. There should be fewer. Remember few? Fewer cars. Mm -hmm. Deberían haber menos. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. There should be fewer mm -hmm. cars. Okay? There should be there should be less less pollution. Less is pollution. the opposite of more, yeah. More and less. There should be less pollution. Yes, we need more subway lines. We don't have subway lines actually in El Salvador. Um, we need more public transportation. There aren't enough buses, actually, in the Salvador. There are enough buses, and there isn't enough parking. Use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's going to help us to understand when we're going to use too many, for example, in this case, we have cars, uh, we are going to use too many. And when we're going to use too much, for example, in this case, we have a non count now, and therefore we're going to use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart. Let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here. There are too many cars. And I'm also going to talk about making sense of this next statement. There aren't enough buses. Let me present the structure now. In order for us to make sense of there are too many cars, we need to understand the following rule. Uh, and that is that we're going to have there. And by the way, this can be the subject of the sentence. It doesn't necessarily need to be there. Like, for example, we can say, we have too many cars. And let me go ahead, as I am talking about that, I'm going to go ahead and write the examples now. So let me write the example that is there. There are, whenever you see the expression too many, that means that there is a problem, that we have too much of too many. In this case, there are too many cars. OK, um, and just so that we keep the pattern there, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors um, there. And that follows the verb to be. And then we have too many. And that's how we make that expression. There are too many cars. We can also say we have 
Too many cars. Okay, can you try to give an example following that structure? You can say there or a subject, and then you say the verb to be, in this case are, right? Too many, right? And the countable nouns. There are too many cars in the city of San Salvador, yeah? There are, we have too many cars, yeah? Can you try to give an example uh, using that structure now, please? Talk about problems that we have in San Salvador, for instance. Yes? What about, what about people? You can say, we have too many people. Yes, we have a big population. <laughs> there are too many people. Yeah? Can be he has too many cars. Could be, could be. Uh, some families in El Salvador have too many cars. You know, the mother has a car, the father has a car, the son has a car, the daughter has a car. Almost the dog or the pet, you know. So in some families, they have too many cars. There, there, there should be, there should be fewer cars, right? Can you give another example, please? There are too many dogs on the streets in San Salvador. That's a problem. Teacher, also there are too many homeless, homeless people on the streets. That's absolutely correct, Jose. There are too many homeless people on the street. And we just saw that with the last uh, Julia storm, right? Um, Judith, go ahead. Okay. There are too many free buses in Merlot. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's <laughs> another problem that we have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue. Thank you for your participation. Okay. What I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there. There aren't enough buses. And this is whenever we are missing something, right? We need more of something like, for example, we need more buses. Maybe we need more police officers. We're going to use the expression, there aren't enough. And then that's going to follow a count now count now so we used there plus aren't and then this is going to follow the expression enough and what else can we say well we can say there aren't enough police officers What's another problem in your city? Well, maybe there aren't enough parks. Yeah, that's definitely a good one. Uh, something that we need, something that we need to increase. That's when we use there aren't enough. For example, in my city, there aren't enough supermarkets. Yeah, we need more. We need more. There aren't enough gyms. You know the gym? Gyms. There aren't enough gyms. There aren't enough schools in my city. What about in your city? What's a problem that you have? In El Salvador, there aren't enough um, academies, English academies. Yeah? What else? What else? What else? What else? There aren't enough universities Ooh, in El Salvador. One. Dígame enough, enough. Enough. Uh, there, that's a good one, Naomi. And that's right. You make a lot of sense. I love when you make a lot of sense. There aren't enough universities. Correct. Jose, go ahead. And then I go with you, Michelle.
I was saying that there are a lot of English English schools here in San Salvador, but mm, uh, a lot of them are bad. Mm. <laughs> so you can because say uh, I I have had a lot of bad experiences with some of those schools. So you can say there aren't enough good schools, huh? Okay, yeah, yes. That's true, you make a lot of sense. Let's go, Miss Maya. Teacher, uh, how do you say basurero? You can say waste baskets or trash cans. Trash? Trash can. Okay, there, are, there aren't enough trash cans on the street. Correct, there aren't enough trash cans with S. There aren't enough trash cans on the street. So that's why people end up throwing the garbage away because, trash. you know, there aren't enough um, trash cans. Go ahead, Elisa. Can you, you have... write uh, the, the word on the chat, please? I sure can. I would love to. Teacher, but I've seen people on the, on the parks that they just have to walk like two steps to to get the the trash can and they don't do it they they uh, threw the the garbage on the street whatever they want yes yes i mean there are some exceptions you're right you're right there are some exceptions all right something now that teacher, yes teacher, uh, there is another word the people uh, there, there, there aren't isn't, there isn't there isn't water. Water? No, there isn't enough water. The people, the younger people. Okay, people is countable. So you cannot use isn't, you have to use aren't. Work, work, trabajo, work. There isn't enough water. Okay, I understand. There isn't enough work um, for young people. Okay, there isn't enough. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's continue. Enough parks. What I would like to do now is to talk about how to give opinions about what is needed in a city. And so I want to make sense of the example, there should be fewer cards. That's an opinion about what I think we need in my city. So in order for us to form that idea, we need a subject. Then we need should. After that, we're going to need the verb to be. And this is followed by either fewer or more. And then it's going to be followed by a count now. So let me give you an example of that right now. For example, we could say there should be fewer cars, which is the example that we have here. We have a subject. This could be in the form of there, as it can be in the form of another pronoun or another kind of subject. Uh, then it's going to follow the model verb should, and then should. this will be followed by a verb. It can be the verb to be, but it can be other verbs as well. Mm -hmm. And then the um, adverb quantities, such as fewer or more, and then whatever count noun that exists. There should be fewer cars. We should have more police officers. Take a look. This is the adverb of quantity. You can use fewer, which it will, it will mean like uh, menos, deberíamos de tener menos, or, or more, which is the opposite. And here, you need to use the count now. You need to use the count now. Um, there should be, debería de haber, there should be, we should have, deberíamos de tener. So we can play with the verbs as long as you follow the formula. Subject, should, verb, fewer or more as a number of uh, quantity and then the countable noun. For example, there should be more English classes for you. There should be more English classes for you. Huh? There should be more. There should be, we should have we should have um, more English courses like this one, huh? We should have more English courses. Um, there should be more people like you, you know, people that work, people that study. There should be more students like you guys. 
you can make a difference in the future. We should have we should have more um, stadiums. Yeah, we should have more stadiums. We should have more um, zoos. Yeah, we should have more zoos. Can you give an example, a suggestion for our country? Teacher, we should plant more trees. We should plant more trees. Excellent example. One more, come on. We should have more hospital pets. Oh yeah, we should have more hospital pets. We pets. only have one, huh? We only have yes. one hospital. <laughs> only one. In San we, Salvador, in Santa Ana, no. So we should have more pet hospitals in Santa Ana, right? Yes. Excellent. Give me another example. Come on, come on, come on. Talk to me. There should be more jobs. Woohoo, Eliseo, you got it, boss. There should be more job opportunities for everybody. Yeah. There should be more English opportunities for students like you guys. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. I love those examples. Come on. Who hasn't participated? Participation, active participation. What else? What else do we need? No sé si lo voy a decir mal, pero ahí voy. Um, we should uh, more still to art. You're, you're, you're eating the verb. You need to follow the formula. Oh, the, there sorry. should be. <laughs> it should be. It should uh, school to art. There no should si be bien. more. There should be more art schools. Okay. Change. That is correct. There should be more art schools. There should be more amusement parks. There should be more parks. There should be more museums. Yeah, there should be more museums. Más museos. Come on. What else? What else? What else? There should be fewer prices on the supermarket, teacher. Fewer. There should be I don't fewer... know how to say it. Promotions or discounts. More promotions, more discounts. Discounts, huh? There should be more discounts in the Everything supermarket. Everything is expensive nowadays. That's true. That's true. All right. Good job. Anything else? There should be there should be fewer discotheques, huh? Or no, ladies? There should be there should be fewer discotheques or nightclubs, huh? There should be more schools and English academies. Ah, we no house me quedaron viendo. We shall have more hospitals. Oh yeah, you got it. We should have more hospitals and pet hospitals. And it says there should have, I said yeah, we, Edith, we should have, we should have more parks in El Salvador. Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, there should be fewer antos. <laughs> de vida. That's true. And, and yes, the, there should be, there should be fewer beauty salons. Why? Because oh. there are so many beauty salons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What else, guys? One last example. We almost finished. There should be fewer guns. Oh my goodness. Yes. There should be fewer guns. Yeah, guns. There should be fewer guns. That's totally true. Here and everywhere, right? In the, in the United States, that's a big problem they have. There should be fewer guns. There should be more 
a there should be there should be i think it's my opinion you tell me but i, I think there should be more opportunities you know there should be more opportunities for people uh, that you know don't have like a high academy level academic level yeah there should be more opportunities job opportunities yes lorena says we should have more firemen a hey, is true it's true solo me pone mayúscula siempre okay capital letter lauren we we should have more firemen in el salvador yes we definitely need we definitely need yes all right all right there should be there should be more more hours for this class there should be more minutes for this class it's only 60 minutes i don't feel it <laughs> all right what else what else what about in your refrigerator huh in your refrigerator in my refrigerator there should be there should be more food huh there should be more food there should be more eggs uh -huh, judith Turn it on, turn it on. Okay, okay. We should have more life to enjoy. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> we should have more life. Yes, we have, we should have, we should have a longer life, huh? Longer life. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, you're totally right. I love your examples. I really have fun with your examples. People, give give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a pat on the back. You're doing great. You're doing great. Thank you for your participation. Thank you. There should, there should be fewer dogs in the street. Yes. Ahora, pronúnciame el should. Should. La letra L, should. the letter L is silent. So you pronounce should. 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 There yes. should be less Ten. dogs. Yes, there dogs should be less dogs and street. cats. And cats and also cats. on the streets. On it's, the street. It's sad to see so many, you know, aguacateri dogs on the street. So <laughs> it's very, it's very delicate. Ingrid, you haven't told us any example tonight. Hmm? What is something we uh, we should have? Sorry. Um, any example? Yeah. Okay. Um, in my city, we should be we should be more traffic lights oh. because there are many accidents, like three for a week, maybe. I Definitely, know. there should be more traffic lights. There yeah. should be more uh, traffic officers, huh? There should be more traffic yeah. officers to help with the traffic. Miss Tios, let's finish with you. Okay. There should be, um, no, we should have more volunteers to clean the beach. Juan Martinez, go ahead. I have something to say about that. The nouns. Yes. I, I have, uh, I don't know, see sometimes the nouns is going to change because uh, I was learning about, about that is, I guess sometimes the nouns is going to change depending on the context. For example, um, there are uh, too many fishes in the oceans. It's possible uh, for me, for me, in this case, is is no count because I don't know how many fishes there are in the ocean. But sometimes the noun is gonna be count because an example could be there is uh, there is a, to, I there is too many fish in my bucket. <coughs> is right or not right? 
Yes, it's right. If if we're talking about the fish in the ocean, it's impossible to count them definitely. But if you talk about fish in your house, fish in the market, is different. You are right. Uh, there should be there should be uh, more time, but we don't have. The class has finished. Check for your homework tomorrow. I'm gonna chat you a homework so you practice, and uh, we continue learning, guys. Thank you for your participation. There should be more participation. There should be more participation from all my students, huh? I give you that. Think about it. Hey, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, teacher. Good, bye. Night. good night. See you See tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. You. See you. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow, everyone. Bye bye. So long. See you later.